Okay, so in this video we have Gilded Lotus and first thing we do is we apply the base layer of paint. We're gonna use the matching color as close as possible. Uh, for this one we do blue and then for the first actual paint we do after the paint pen dries we do uh, a light blue to match some of the hues that are on the inside near the Gilded Lotus and then we put a next layer over that and because of the number of colors and the way that it blends on Gilded Lotus you can kind of do these a few different ways. You can emphasize the warmer colors a little more on the top. You can emphasize the cooler colors that are around it or near the bottom. You can make the bottom dark. You can make the bottom light. Uh, what I like to do is mess around with blue and purple on the lighter ends. And then I'll kind of do the corners a little bit darker as we'll see here in a little bit. <clears throat> the biggest part is uh, just the hardest part that you have to match is the orange and the yellow that comes up off the Gilded Lotus. And... Um, on the bottom right and then on the top left as you can see we decided to put in some darker purple and I kind of left it watered in uh, so that when it dries it kind of has like a, a, a lighting effect that's kind of glaring and then we put um, kind of a, a not yellow but like a, a not quite white color uh, and uh, near the Gilded Lotus near the, the middle where the lines are kind of coming in uh, once it dried you couldn't see it as much but um, this is the end result and this is just one of the ways that you can do a Gilded Lotus. You can emphasize, emphasize the colors any way you want. If you want, you can put multiple colors in on a Gilded Lotus because it's a Gilded Lotus. So for magic, you can do red, white, blue, black, green. Uh, you can do um, all seven colors of a prism. Uh, you can do them however you want to do them, but this is how I like to do them. This is the end result. Um, one thing I have to note about Gilded Lotus is they are a little more expensive now than when I first started doing them, and this is the last one that I had. Um, so I don't do them as much anymore, and if you want to save a little bit, um, I would recommend doing cards that are a little cheaper if you're going to put them in a trade folder, because Gilded Lotuses are a little more expensive, but that's something that you have to watch out for when doing altars and you're doing some of the lower end altars on the market is sometimes cards will go up. Um, Gilded Lotus is likely to be repaired after a certain point, however, and it will probably be fine to continue to do them, uh, but as of this uh, recording and this posting, I believe they're around 10 to 15 bucks, so uh, having said that, uh, that's it. That's Gilded Lotus, and that's just one of the many ways to do it. And hopefully, we'll see you guys at the next one. Thank you very much.